hey guys in this video what we are going to do is we are basically uh, going to uh, log into uh, microsoft teams and verify if the dial pair is appearing or not if the dial pad is not appearing then what we are going to do is we are going to troubleshoot this further and assign the right configuration so that the dial pair dial pad appears on our teams uh, application so let's do that testing right now so i'll log into teams so in the last video what we have done is we have basically uh you know enabled the user uh, ekarnani for enterprise voice and assign the number okay looks like my keyboard battery has gone down let me change the battery Okay, let me try again. I keyed in the credential, so now the team should load up. Okay, my team has loaded up. So let's go to the calls here. And when I go to the calls, I don't see the keypad here. Right, so this clearly shows up that the keypad is missing here. So oh, when I say keypad, I'm talking about dial pad. So we, one thing we have enabled the user for enterprise voice. Now the next thing what we have, as this is a brand new configuration. So what we have to do is we have to create some, uh, you know, voice routing policies so that, you know, uh, we can associate the voice routing policy to the user and then the keypad should appear. So let's go in the voice routing policy. So by default there will be one global so we'll create one so now in this name i'll just name it as svc voice routing policy and then i will add the pstn usage here and this pstn usage if you remember this is the one which we configured during the direct routing configuration in the initial video right i'll click on apply so once i do this i'll click on save so uh, looks like it is I clicked on save twice now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign this to a user so let's go to the manage user so if you notice here um, now in case of Vinash Karnani so the number which we have assigned is appearing here properly right and if I click on this account further so you see this user is enabled for direct routing now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, go to the policies here and then if i scroll down you just look for voice routing policy so this voice routing policy is global at this moment so we have to assign this to the uh, one which we have just created so i'll click on edit and in the voice routing policy what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the one which we have just created and click on apply click on confirm so once this is saved i'll go back to the account right i'll sign out and sign in again let's see if the dial pad appears again appears here all right let's see now all right let's go to calls all right cool so we see the dial pad is uh, appearing here and we also see this number which is assigned to this user now using this dial, pair, dial pad uh, we can dial uh, numbers to the on-prem devices for example if you have to dial someone uh, uh, in the within the organization who is in let's say in cisco or Avaya, right you can dial those numbers from here and then a call the call should technically go to the you know um, SBC and SBC should send the call uh, to the on-prem server and on-prem server should send the call to the device so this is something possible only when we do the all type of integration uh, once our integration is fully 
uh, done then we should be able to make calls but at this moment the only plan is to you know enable the dial pad uh, on the user's account so the same thing we have to follow for uh, the another user which is nikita so we have to enable uh, uh, the user for uh, enterprise voice and assign a number and then also associate the voice routing policy for that user and then the dial pad should appear for that user again all right so i hope this video is informative for you thank you for watching